Hey everyone, welcome back. This video, we're going to talk about how to print all the values of an array. So starting at the beginning and going all the way to the end, printing each one. So the easiest way, and also I never did define size in the previous video. So this is basically the total count of elements uh, and it's not zero based. So in this situation, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the size of this array is nine. And typically you're going to have a size variable to keep track of these arrays because as you pass these arrays around into functions for example it it's it's difficult to figure out the size of the array without having an, a variable to just keep track of it um, and this has to do with something called decay um, when when you pass an array it decays to a pointer uh, and you can look up that if you are interested but we're going to go on with what we were talking about so you can think about it like this. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. Let me just start, let me just start nice and simple. So we have an empty array right now. And if we wanted to print every value, let's just give it some values. Let's do it the uh, the, the hard way. So we're gonna say the, the zero element is 10 and we would need to make a size here. So let's declare a size. And then we're gonna put size here, just like that. And now we can, we could fill out each one of these elements. And this is going to be the last one because the size is always one more than the, the highest index. So if we did this, we would be going into the, the sixth element or the, the sixth element because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is one more than the size. That's gonna go outside of the bounds of the array and uh, that's gonna slap us real hard. So we don't wanna do that. Okay, so I made it really difficult and I assigned some values <laughs> using this uh, this technique here. This might this might be done if, if you are getting these values from user input or from a file. Um, you wouldn't have this section but you would have the size statically defined here and you would create an array of that size. And then you would basically go through and assign each one of these indexes a, a value from a file as an example. And then let's say we wanted to print all those values. Well, the way you could do this is if you just imagined a print statement, let's write one out. And we'll also put a space there. All, all we have to do is put the, the number, the index that we want to print. So we could do zero, or we could do one. And you can think that the only thing really changing, this, this all stays the same. The only thing changing is this number that we want to print. So if we could somehow make a loop to start at zero and then increase one at a time all the way up until we get to the highest index four, well then we could essentially print every value of an array. So in order to do that, we have to put this in a for loop or a while loop if you like to make things more complicated on yourself. <laughs> Go for loops, woo. So we're gonna start, we're gonna define a, a variable i. And um, like I've said previously, you may need to define this outside of your for loop. So you might need to do int i equals zero or just int i and then say i equals zero. But I like to declare it inside of the for loop. It's just clear to me, and that's more consistent with other programming languages. So that's typically what I do. Now you're going to do i is less than size. And then you're going to do i plus plus. And I always try to keep it as just less than. I think it's clearer for me, and I think it's more common. Uh, and it's it's if you always stay the same, you, you get more practice and, and you go out of the bounds of the array less often. And then what happens is you can actually reference i inside of this for loop because every single iteration i is going to be incremented so this should work but you know i probably have bugs that's always what happens yeah okay too few arguments yeah see i tell you every single time i make a video everybody decides to uh let their dogs bark and have a party <laughs> and mow their lawn. Okay, so I just had a printf floating around, which I shouldn't have had. Now we just printed all those values, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. 
If you're not careful and do something like this less than or equal to size, it's going to go outside of those bounds of the array. And you can see it prints one, but 